Our demonstration environment consists of two sites that host application data, Site A and Site B. Both Site A and B include an extreme I.O. array that is part of a VPlex Metro cluster. There is also a third site that hosts VPlex Witness Virtual Machine. In the Unisphere for VPlex interface, we can see a virtual map of our cluster and its current running state. We can also see that VPlex Witness has been configured as a virtual quorum at a third site. Under the Provision Storage menu, we can see the volumes created for our Oracle environment. These volumes have been provisioned as a mirrored active active virtual volume across Extreme I.O. arrays. In Swingbench, we can see a workload running on our virtual volume that's running across the Extreme I.O. arrays. We can also see that the workload is currently hosting 200 concurrent users. In order to demonstrate the continuous availability, let's simulate a site failure at Site B. First, we'll shut down the rack nodes at Site B, simulating that those workstations have gone offline. Next, we'll shut down the VPlex environment at Site B, simulating that that environment has gone offline. In the Unistore for VPlex GUI, we can now see that Site B is in fact offline. When we return to our application environment, we can see that the workload has continued operating despite the failure at the Site B. The workload at Site A continued operating without disruption and without manual intervention. And when Site B operations are restored, those workloads can be brought online non-disruptively as well.